Sports. It's in the game. But this morning, Lincoln Park is abandoned mourning. The Los Angeles coroner confirming its frontman, Chester Bennington, dead of an apparent suicide by hanging. TMZ reports his family was out of town and that an employee found him Thursday morning at his LA home. We're trying to pick up, uh, and his housekeeper came out and said that he unfortunately killed himself. He, he hung himself. He's in his room. So. Okay, what, what's normal the answer for 10,000, 20,000 people to be like screaming at you. Mm. It's not a normal thing to deal with. So then you add that on top. So now you got to start masking your pain because you can't let all these people see. Like it's hard enough to talk to your family. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's hard enough for people to like talk about real shit with their family. Six people at the table and it's like, I can't speak about this. Imagine speak, have to speak in front of the world. All right, you guys, listen up. Thank you guys very much for being so good to us today. We appreciate it. This one is going to be our last song. So if you guys have any energy left that you want to spend with us, let's do it right now. I remember back then who you were. You used to be calm, you used to be strong, you used to be generous, and you should have known. Hey! Holy good God! Try to take the best of me. Oh shit! Try to take the best of me. Oh! oh. Oh my god, I don't have to do anything! Watch this shit! God, what a start! There's sorrow, there's sickness, then the shock when you flip it on me. What? So hollow, so vicious, so afraid I couldn't let myself see. That I could never be held back on no, I hold myself. 
That's coming up at a Put it down. You have to go back home and do something to put down some roots, do you know what I mean? I've been married for five years and I've been on the road for almost two of those years. That sucks to me. It's the price we pay for the games we play. You know what I mean? There's, there's a sacrifice in every good situation. When, you're, when your home life is so weird, you kind of don't want people to see a lot of it. Go out and up, then bring it back in. Here's that first record. The people started realizing, oh, there's something different about this, like, I, that I think I kind of like. Every time you look at somebody else when you're a kid, and you go, man, I wish I had their parents, or I wish I had their life. You get to know them, you find out a lot of times, unfortunately, it's really similar. It's how I use my past and the good ways and the bad ways to write lyrics. Hybrid. Lyrics. Hybrid. Oh my god! Days too late to waste in my disgrace. Woo! Stuck in my head. Uh huh. Uh huh. Feels like I'll never leave this place. Let's go, let's do it. There's no escape. I can't stop and stare. Run myself back. I know I can't. What? Oh, watch this shit. Oh, <laughs> it's another verse. Go! Holy shit! Woo! Oh my god! Fuck 
dude. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Here we go. So what I did, there's a secret thing on this vocal to 64, and it can work with this bass game. Yep, yep. I gotta, I gotta bring it up. Look at that! <laughs> it's a live, bro. So, what I did, 
I got the instrumental covers of the, of the bass, guitar, and drums, and I extend it in here. <laughs> oh! But I put their photos up there so you can find them on YouTube. Oh! Or what have I not played this? Ooh, and this, hold up. Yeah. That's Mike and this is Chester. Look at that shit. Using drugs when I was 11. I don't know what's Whoa! Wrong, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I have to scream. I don't oh my, know these, why like, we've made a story of this shit. <laughs> it's not just the song anymore. We're making a story out of this thing. It's so good. Oh, wait, there was more. Hold up. so than anything else I mean um, other than you know uh, love from your friends and family I think that uh, you know music is probably the reason why I still am here <laughs> oh, this is like one of my favorites Woo, let's do it again Just wish I didn't feel like 
or something I miss. Yeah.
like a depression that really was hard to get out of and then the like, and then you know I realized at that point like I can't do all this stuff if everything isn't perfect and running exactly the way it's supposed to one thing falls off the cart and like the whole thing gets ruined it's like pulling an apple like you see a nice stack of apples at the, at the, at the grocery store and it's beautiful and like it's really nice and then you grab the bottom one and the whole thing goes down and the next thing you know it takes like all these people to clean up the mess right everything's ruined right <laughs> like, that's my life that was, we were talking about it in the studio and like and like Mike had made a list of all the things that not only like he, he, some of the stuff that he knew I was going through and then some of the stuff he was going through and some of the stuff he knew like our friends and like other guys in the band were going through. It was like a list of like 50 things. And it was like each one of them was on its own really, really hard to go through. It was like each one was never. <laughs> it was like it was like one of our friends died of cancer. My dad, my stepdad died of cancer. I broke my leg and I was like, I had to rehab that for a year. Um, I had to, I, I quit stunt double pilots because it was just too much after it, it was too much. I felt bad about that. Um, you know, and that time was like and, and then, 10, 10 times. And then I was like, yeah, depressed. And, and I was like, you know, drinking again. And then I was like doing all this stuff. And I was just like, dude, like this is crazy. And, um, uh, you know, all my relationships were struggling, like all, everything was struggling. It was just really tough. And so, uh, there was like just enough things to kind of keep me wanting to go. But yeah, I mean, like you were saying earlier, I don't think it was burnt out from just like, man, like, I just need a break. I was burnt out because I was just like, fuck the world. Like, not like I need a break, like, honestly, like, fuck all of you. Like, everybody and everything, and I don't like doing anything anymore. Like, nothing makes me happy. I don't like anyone. I even told one of my therapists at one point, I said, I just don't want to feel anything. I Like, I like kind of envy sociopaths because they don't have to worry about ever feeling shit. I kind of want that. And she's like, you mean you don't want to be a human being? I was like, yep, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. Well, uh, you know, how am I going to end this? What have I not used? Um, well, I'm not really going to use that one, but. So good, man. Everything is good. Oh, <laughs> yo, everything is too good with this pack. Let's end this. I saw one song. You. All right, let's end it. You ready? Break everything you say to me. Yeah, I got, I got, I got some mic. I got it, Mike. Here we go. I just want to hear it. I find the answers are so clear. Wish I could find a way to disappear. All these thoughts they make no sense. I find bliss in ignorance. Yeah. Nothing seems to go away.
I should not be in there alone. <laughs> I need. I can't be in there by myself. What are you talking about? It just. It just. It just it's it's insane. Crazy, man. It's crazy in here. This is a bad place for me to be by myself. And so, when I'm in that, like, I get, I my whole life gets thrown off. Like, if I'm in there, like, I don't say nice things to myself. Like, there's another Chester in there that's like, wants to take me down. Oh, 